Hey Tubes, it's Blazer Project. Well, today we're back on the Blazer. We're gonna get it jacked up. And here's what we're gonna do it with. Get over here to where toolbox is and deactivate the alarm. One sec. Wrong button. Drop the tailgate. Get 24 paving stones. And we're gonna stack them one on top of each other with a jack stand out on top and get that thing in the air. Make it a little more easier to work on instead of me being hunched over and everything like that. Plus also I can rip the axles out, which will be very beneficial. Now my plan is to Let's see. I didn't think this part through, but you can actually jack it up. I put the jack stand right there on the back. And on the front, I'm going to say right there, just between the cross member. That holds up the transmission and transfer case, and that front mount will do just fine on all four corners, and this thing will be up in the air. So that's today's project. I gotta get the mo muffler back on workhorse, that way I can use it, because those things are not light, plus also that has not ran in a while. So I'm gonna get to moving things around, get the jack out, and get to work, so... Be back in a moment. All right, back ends off the ground. Now I went ahead and removed the tires, but here's what we'll do. Here's what I plan on doing: paving stones, jack stand on the frame. Now I got to get up there and do the front, but at least like this. I'll have more room underneath to do my work and also cut away certain objects and things that are not supposed to be there anymore. So that's what's going to happen. But other than that, we're looking good. So time to go to the front, jack it up and get those placed. So, hang tight, I've got work to do. All right, we're off the ground. Well, off the ground and off tires, but all four corners are missing their tires. And up here in the front, I only had to use three paving stones instead of the six total in the back. But I'm happy with it. I mean, true, the back end's probably going to sit a little higher. But also, I got a rubber mat underneath here, and the ground is as uneven as you can think. But, she's up. Got three, jack stand, six, jack stand in the back. And that's the way I plan on doing it. I wasn't going to use cinder blocks. Trust me, I've seen the carnage that has caused it, but now i got a better view of what all i got to do. Next step, if I get the chance, I'm going to yank the axles out, get those out of the way, and place someplace, probably over here somewhere, but yank these apart, go through seals, get them serviced, get them all taken care of and so on but at least like this I'm not having to constantly deal with the tires or anything else so that was the main goal is get it up off the ground to where I can just start yanking everything out but also with it up as high as it is I don't have to freaking bend down that bad to do the body work which I will be resuming here pretty soon. But, uh, while I'm ripping the axles out, let me get back up and I'll show you. 
I'm gonna build a building around the beast. That way I can start working on it 24 seven. Cause trust me, I've been wanting to get back on it, but life interrupted me. And now that I got my bill for my root canal, and I see how much it is, I can actually start going and getting things. Plus also I had to save up money for four new tires on the flatbed, which we'll be putting on next month. And I'm gonna be using the daylights out of it. So four new tires needed. Found them for like 53 bucks through Walmart. Order those, get them installed the next day. So roughly 200 bucks for a set of four tires. I ain't gonna complain. But at least that way I can haul the axles or a few other things to a shop along with the leaf springs and get those retempered and redone. That way when I get them back, they're good to go for at least another 100,000 miles or so. Who knows? But other than that, can't beat that result. And it's stable. So that's that. <clears throat> Excuse me, but I'm going to give you guys now the end of the video as far as updates goes. The Dayton, got to finally spin over, got things straightened out, got to order a new coil and carburetor, which I have found another one for cheaper money, which saves me money. Awesome. Workhorse, had it running today. It's going to be going out to the barn here pretty soon. We're going to start slaying trees with the chainsaws. That's got to happen. Toolbox is going to be getting disc brakes sometime. And I mean sometime. I'm going to probably put up with the drums for the rest of the year until next year. Save up more money and we'll go from there. But that's what's going on. What the fuck? Excuse my language, but... Why the hell are you not wanting to close? Now, I gotta do something with the tailgate. It's not wanting to behave. So, other than that, today was a success. Did not want to get too much out of the way done. And I got some extra paving stones, so I'm gonna do something with those. Probably another day. But anyhow, that's what's going on, and also the fair's coming up, so be prepared for Demo Derby and Demolition. Well, Demolition Derby and the figure eights, because I record every year. So, that's that. So, like, subscribe, comment. I'll talk to you all guys all later. Peace out, and be sure to follow me on Facebook. I post there every week as far as, like, if a video's going to come out and so forth, so... Follow me on Facebook, and I'll talk to you guys all later. Peace.